halflings and halfling parents. I am making this video because I am excited to announce that I'm going to be starting a new little project here on the Halfling Storytime. Um, so kind of a backstory, I am taking an infant toddler class and um, at my local community college and we are actually learning about language this week and so I of course am just having the time of my life because I mean this whole project centers around reading to kids which is literacy and language um, so I'm just I'm having so much fun this week um, but it brought up the topic of sign language teaching sign language to infants and having that as a form of communication for them um, I have previously heard just, you know, pros and cons of teaching um, sign language to infants. Um, you know, some say, oh, it, you know, it helps them communicate um, earlier, which is, <laughs> which is really nice on some days, let's be honest. Um, I have also heard that, um, you know, a con people are concerned that it can actually delay kids from talking um, and basically what I've been learning this week in my textbook which I will quick divert to that this is my textbook that we are using in school um, if you'd like that resource please feel free to reach out to me email Facebook Instagram I'd love to share that resource it's a wonderful book um, anyways um, that's where I'm drawing my my information from so um, basically what this resource was saying was that um, it's actually beneficial to teach sign language to infants because um, infants, they develop the ability to, you know, work their hands before they learn how to talk and to communicate that way. So unless you are exclusively using sign language with your kids, um, According to this resource, they're going to be fine. Um, please, please, please understand I'm not trying to say that this is not going to replace verbal communication at all. This is a resource that should be used alongside it, um, especially with infants. Now, this can also carry into older children because, I mean, um, nonverbal friends and deaf friends exist in our world. So, um, being able to communicate with them, I think, is really cool. So it's not, you know, a communication skill that um, you're teaching in the infant years and then poof, they're never going to use it again. Um, they can if they want to. And it's just, I think it's good to have more tools for that. And also, um, this textbook was explaining too that um, especially when your infant is moving into the toddler years, the more they know how to communicate, the less tantrums you're going to have because that frustration of being able to communicate to you um, is going to be lessened. Now again, it's not going to be completely eliminated. There's always going to be issues. We're only human, so we're not perfect. Um, communication never is perfect um, for anybody, I don't think. So, um, yeah, so, and just kind of a disclaimer too, I am not a professional. Um, I did use a little bit of sign language when I was a nanny. Um, and just growing up, um, I was actually homeschooled for a little bit um, before my mom passed away. And um, I was, for some reason, I was always just interested in learning sign language. So she kind of helped with that for a little bit. I was exposed to teeny tiny bit to sign language, not a ton, um, when I was a preteen. And then, um, my niece as well. I am just curious to be able to communicate with her too, because she is partially deaf. Um, so I think it would just be cool to be able to use that because although she can hear me most of the time, like if her, her, um, hearing aids aren't in or if the battery's going low or whatever, like, I don't know, it's just another way to communicate, which I think is cool. So, yeah, that is just kind of my new exciting announcement that I wanted to make a little video about. Um, I'll start working on that in the coming weeks, and I will start posting them 
um, as I can. So thank you for allowing me to explain this. I'm excited and hopefully it's a good resource to everybody. All right. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you later. Bye everybody.